Simone from Montevideo. I am Silvia Amado, former National Karate Director of the UI, um, member of the NSEI, and former president of the Inter-American Network of Karate and Property Registry from the Organization of American States until 2020. First of all, I would like to thank to the organizer of the Smart View Expo 2021, especially to Alex for the invitation to participate in this important event and the opportunity to be with you again. I attended this expo in 2014 at Seoul. Uh, it was an amazing experience in my first time in Korea too, invited by Alex. Since when I've been in touch with them in different projects and activities. So let me share the presentation. The objective of the presentation is to give an idea of the importance of using open data for land records in Latin American countries. Some data about uh, how many countries are using open data and the possible impacts in relevant issues for the region. As an example, the successful experience of Uruguay National Cadastre using open data and its international acknowledgement. Let's start with an introduction about the thing. The public institution that collect, generate, disseminate data for its aims are facing the challenge of adapting to a new form of management in terms of a digital government for the use of digital open data is one of its skills. Open data involves involve not only the public administration, but also the private sector, civil society, academy, and citizens in general. Some remarks about the main features of the open data. First, the availability and access in a reasonable, convenient, and modifiable way. Second, the reuse and distribution based on a format in which they are presented and the possible integration to another set of data. And third, an universal participation. Everyone must be able to use, reuse, and redistribute them without restriction. Considering the cadastre is one of the basic layers of an SDI, the use of open data in land records expanded the possibility under the geospatial information trade. The use of open data for geospatial information and for land records represent valuable input for the decision-making process and therefore the design of public policies. Now let's move to Latin America and the Caribbean countries. First of all, let, let me explain which is the situation in terms of uh, the data at a glance. According to the 2018 survey of the Inter-American Network of Cadastro and Property Registry, the last one uh, that is available from this source and completed by 12 countries, the 40% of the land in the region doesn't have a record from Cadastro of Property Registry in 2018. This number shows uh, show us big problems to solve in terms of quick property rights and legal security, urban and rural informality, informality, potential and not use in property taxes to support national and local governments, weakness in the use of cadastro for multipurpose uses and a lack of transparency in land information. Which is the situation of the use of open data in the region? According to this 2018 OAS surveys, first, most of the country that uses open data, approximately 65% of them, and second, in the institution that use open data, they present also most of these databases in open format, as you can see. These are good news for the reasons, the region in terms of these trends, but let's see how, what shows the net surveys of the OES network, which is implemented this year and which, is our, which are these results. 
The situation is also related with the level of coverage and also with the updated information about land records. As you can observe, there are still worrying levels of outdated information in our country. The potential the use of open data. Our region still have to deal with uncovered areas, outdated information, even solve problems in connectivity and problems to fill the digital gap. And now let me present you the experience of the National Garage of Uruguay and the stuff. In 2014, we decided to jump to, from public data to open data under the framework and support of the second national open government plan. The initiative was called Open Caracer, and its objective was to give free access to the Alpha-American class cartographic files to everyone under the open format. And the main principle were to promote the transparency, to increase the citizen participation in public issues, and to use new technology for a better government. It allows to download the cadastral databases and the metadata associated, and it offers a specific tool to interact with the users to know more about their needs and promote the feedback for improving process. This initiative was welcome from the users and the result in a national level were to increase rapidly the number of downloads of cadastral files and a more demand of our data. In an international level, we received an important acknowledgement from the Open Government Partnerships to the MRI evaluation in 2015 appointed as one out of three national star initiatives of the national plan among 40 projects presented. The highlighted categories were high specificity, high relevance in terms of the OGP values, and a transformative potential impact. In 2018, we participated again in the fourth national open government plan to the open cadastral to <clears throat> try to improve the communication with the user through a specific survey, which results help us to present a new and wide version of the open cadastral to continue working in that sense. Due to these initiatives and the continued process along these years, we could appreciate the extended use of the cadastral data and a better visualization in general for the citizens. We think the cadastral and land institutions should take advantage of the open policies and the opportunity an open framework gives to transform the land registry in open data that contributes with the transparency and an inclusive information about land in our region. To sum up, I hope I could give you a big picture of the situation and the importance of this topic in the region, and also continue counting on the good experience of my country in that way. Thank you very much for your uh, attention, and I wish you a very good, smart geo export for everyone. So, bye bye from Montevideo.